We've recently discovered that there's a new planet orbiting around the closest star to us. And the question is whether we should pack our bags and just head off to that planet right now. The problem with that is it takes a long while to get there. Using the, the best technology that we have right now, it would take us about 60,000 years to get to that newly discovered planet. Current rocket technology uses chemistry. And the problem is that you can only build a rocket that's so big. Once you build it too big, then you need even more fuel to get it off the ground. So ion thrusters use a completely different technology. If you've ever been on the, the, some of the new roller coasters at Cedar Point, they use electric and magnetic accelerators. And we can use the same technology in spaceships to accelerate little particles out the back of a spaceship. If we had ion thrusters, then we could get to this new planet much faster. But much faster means that we could get there in, say, 5,000 years instead of 80,000 years or 60,000 years. We're actually developing them here at the University of Michigan for very small spaceships. The problem is that there's not a huge amount of money going into the basic research that is needed. We need somebody like Tony Stark. We need Iron Man to come in and say, we want to go to another star and we're going to develop this new technology. I think that's something that humans are very curious about, whether we're alone in the universe or whether there are other things out there. It is an important question that most people on the planet are very curious about.